Links for the stories will be found in the description. The Secret of the Yamamba The Yamamba look like harmless old women, but are actually terrifying mountain yokai that consume human flesh. One of their oldest legends is from the Konjaku Monogatari. Once upon a time, a Buddhist priest was caught out in a storm, but luckily passed by a lonely hut. A kind old woman invited him inside, welcoming him with food and a warm fire. As welcoming as she was, she gave the priest a strange warning. You know what? Do not look in the back room. Unable to overcome his curiosity, the priest failed to heed the old woman's warning. As soon as she stepped out to gather more firewood, the priest peeped through a crack in the door. To his horror, he discovered the room was filled with half-eaten corpses. The priest realized that the old woman was a Yamamba, luring unsuspecting travelers into her home, only to shred them to pieces for her next meal. He fled from the hut as fast as he could and never looked back. The Legend of the Jorogumo The Jorogomo is a half-woman, half-spider yokai that can transform itself into a beautiful woman when hunting for unsuspecting men to devour. A young samurai was accosted in the street by an alluringly gorgeous woman. Although she was beautiful, the samurai saw through her disguise, realizing she was not human, but some kind of yokai. He immediately drew his sword and plunged it towards her, but only injuring the strange woman before she quickly retreated. The samurai followed the scarlet trail of spotted blood and all the way to an old abandoned house. Inside, he found dozens of bodies bound in spider silk and a giant Joro spider, dead from the injuries it had received. The Tale of Oiwa Oiwa was a stunningly beautiful young woman who was married to the samurai Iomun a petty man who only loved her for her head-turning looks. Another woman, Oimei, was madly in love with Yomon, and out of jealous rage, she tricked Oiwa into using a cream that was laced with poison. It disfigured Oiwa's face, causing one of her eyes to droop and her hair to fall out, without her even noticing. Disgusted with her new appearance, Yomon wished to divorce Oiwa and marry Oimei, the despicable samurai hired his friend, Takuetsu, to rape Oiwa, so that he would have the grounds for divorce. Takuetsu was so shocked by Oiwa's appearance, he couldn't follow through with the orders. Instead, he told Oiwa of Yomon's plan, and showed Oiwa her own face in a mirror. Seeing her deformed face for the first time, Oiwa was so horrified that she stole Takuetsu's sword, killing herself. With her last breath, she cursed Yomen's name. On the night of Yomen's remarriage to Oume, the ghost of the disfigured Oiwa appeared before him. A terrified and guilty Yomen quickly fled from Oiwa. But no matter how far he ran, he couldn't escape her hauntings. After that night, no matter where Yomen looked, even in the very lanterns he used to light his path, he could see Oiwa's face staring back at him. The Woman of the Snow, Yukiona A young man in search of his fortune was passing through the snow-covered mountains when he is caught in a sudden snowstorm and loses his way. Nearly frozen to death, he almost gives up hope when a strange woman, covered in frost and with a face as pale as snow, appeared before him. A Yukiona Because he was still so young, the Yukiona took pity on him and guided him to a warm cabin in the woods saving his life. In exchange for his rescue, however, she made him promise to never tell anyone of their meeting. Years later, a young man met and married a charming girl named Yuki, and they lived happily ever after. But one day, the young man told his wife about how he was once saved by the mysterious Yukiona, breaking his promise. As he reveals this tale to his wife, her face grew pale and frost began to cover the body. His wife's true identity was the Yukiona. The promise broken, she vanished back into winter's night. The Ghost of Okiku There was once a girl, Okiku, who lived in Himeji Castle as a servant of the samurai Oyama. 
One of Okiku's tasks was to care for her master's collection of ten valuable plates. But one day, while Okiku was washing the plates, she realized one was missing. No matter how many times she counted, she always came up one short. Her master was so enraged that she had lost his plate that he threw her down a well. Murdered so brutally, Okiku's soul could not rest. Every night, her ghost crawled out of the well to continue counting her master's plate. She would count to nine. Then, upon realizing that the tenth plate was still gone, she would let out an ear-piercing shriek. Okiku's scream kept everyone in the castle up all night long for weeks on end, until a Buddhist priest finally appeased her. The Black Hair Once upon a time, there was an impoverished samurai living in Kyoto with his wife. A wealthy lord from a distant land invited the samurai to be his vassal. Because it was such an honorable opportunity, he had no choice but to accept leaving his wife to wait in poverty at home until he returned. Years later, having dutifully served his lord, the samurai finally returned to Kyoto. Although his house was in disrepair, his wife was still there to happily welcome him home. Finally reunited, the two spent the entire night talking and laughing together before drifting off to sleep. When the samurai awoke, the warmth he had felt just the night before from having his arms wrapped around his loving wife was no longer there. Instead, he opened his eyes to see that he was only holding a cold skeleton, shrouded in long black hair. The samurai learned that his wife passed away from the sadness the summer before, but her skeleton had remained in the house, all the while waiting faithfully for his return. The Peony Lantern One dark night, the samurai Ogiwara spotted an elegant woman carrying a peony lantern wandering through the streets of Edo. For Ogiwara, it was love at first sight. He invited the beautiful woman, Atsuyu, to accompany him home, where they talked, laughed, and enjoyed each other's company. That night, Ogiwara's neighbor, hearing eerie laughter coming from Ogiwara's garden, peeked over the wall. He saw Ogiwara holding not a woman, but a laughing skeleton. The next morning, Ogiwara's neighbor revealed to him what he had seen. Horrified, Ogiwara went seeking advice from the priests at a nearby temple. To his shock, Ogiwara found Otsuyu's grave at the temple. He realized that the woman he had fallen in love with just the night before had died long before they had even met. Now that Ogiwara knew the truth, Otsuyo's ghost no longer appeared before him. Even discovering the truth, Okiwara missed Otsuyo desperately. After some time, he could no longer bear his sadness and returned to the temple, where Otsuyu lay buried. At the temple gates, Otsuyu appeared before him. Once more, reaching out her hand, she asked Okiwara to accompany her home. Without hesitation, Okiwara took her hand, walking with her into the darkness. After his final visit to the temple, Ogiwara vanished. The priest, concerned, opened Otsuyu's grave. Inside the coffin lay two bodies, Ogiwara and Otsuyu, together forever.